What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Ban Presto. Also, yeah, it's from Bandai. The Ban Presto! Godzilla Minus One Monsters Raw Attack. Godzilla Minus One, actually, I should have said Monsters Raw Attack first, but it's Godzilla Minus One in this line of Monsters Raw Attack that they've been doing. This is the first one I've gotten. First Ban Presto Godzilla that I decided to get is Godzilla Minus One. Uh, and that's pretty cool. It's looking pretty good. This is the standard edition. Here are all of the editions. A is uh, the Atomic Breath version. B is the black and white version. And C is the regular version. I don't know why they did it like that. I would have guessed A would have been this. <laughs> right? But anywho, you know, it's funny because I felt like I wanted to get the black and white version of this and at the very last second I was like, nah, I'm just gonna get the uh, regular one. I don't, I, I don't know why. I, I, I really don't know why I did that, but um, I, that's what I decided. And I feel like this is probably, a with my experience with Van Presto, this is probably a really, really big box for the size of what the figure is. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And there's Godzilla out of packaging. You know what? This is pretty cool. He, he is much smaller than the box, but he's not super small. And that is uh, pretty good. I expect it's smaller for some reason. This guy does come with a little tail stand um, that's fitted, which is cool. I don't know why they couldn't just make the tail go all the way down to the bottom of them, but I, I, I am not the designer of this stuff. Uh, they did what they did. He stands fine with it. It's black. It gets lost. It's totally fine. Like, no worries here. Now, he is in a lunging forward mode here, uh, which is pretty cool. I do like it. Um, not bad at all. The sculpt is actually really, really nice on this guy. I'm going to take this off now. The sculpt and the... You know, he just kind of goes back like that without it. Um, the sculpt is really nice on this guy. It's kind of soft at the tail. Uh, which is really weird feeling. <laughs> um, almost like, I don't know. I don't know. It's very strange. Like rubbery almost. Not like bendy wiry. Just weird. I don't know. I don't know why it's like that. Um, the rest isn't like that. I mean, the dorsal fins are a little soft. But this is very strange. As you can see, um, there's a gloss to the tail also that's not really present elsewhere except for the dorsal fins so yeah i guess it's like a different material being used there completely but again i'm not sure why but there is a nice like brush work style going on throughout this figure that actually looks really good you see like the the beige paint over uh the gray and that looks good it's simple it works the tail is has a nice curvature to it again really good sculpt on it the dorsal fins look pretty good. Again, you got that paint on there throughout, which is pretty neat. I do uh, dig that. So that's pretty sweet, I think. Yeah, right, I like it, I like it. I can dig it. The legs have a lot of nice work going on. Again, the paint is over it. The nails are painted well. Big old leg, this leg. Looking pretty good too. This one is the one that's further back. It's an interesting pose. It's, you know, it works. I feel like it looks like a suit, you know, like, I think that's cool. Uh, a little suit action, even though Godzilla Minus One here is not a suit. But um, it, it works. It works. I don't know. The belly looks good. The chest looks really good. Very nicely painted. The arms. I like the hands. I like the hand poses. Very good, that both different. This one's more splayed out. Very well done. I like that, yeah. Arms look good, the little elbow spikes. Sides here, really nice texture throughout. And then the head sculpt, the only thing is you see like, like a seam line here and there. You see it in a bunch of places, but whatever. Like this figure is like 20 something bucks. Uh, it's fine. The head sculpt looks pretty good, honestly. I gotta say, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. The eyes, this one is, like, bugging out, but not so bad. They're both kind of bugging out. <laughs> but you know what? They're not terrible. Not terrible. The mouth is okay. 
the teeth are painted. Not perfectly, but, you know, not like bootleg uh, SH Monster Arts bad. <laughs> like, if this was the bootleg painted like this, I, I've been like, hey, total score, win. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is not bad. It could be a little bit better. I feel like the, the eye paint could be a little bit better. But, overall, I think this is pretty good. Again, I, I do dig this pose. It's it's interesting. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad, you know? Uh, yeah. For the price point, I'm saying this is this is a pretty solid figure to get. <laughs> Why not? If you like uh, Godzilla Minus One, you could do much worse than this. And for your size comparisons, here is on the band Presto Godzilla Minus One with the SH Monster Arts, the Monster Arts bootleg, uh, the movie Monster series, metallic version, and the Odo Island version. So, yeah, he's a good size. I mean, he sizes with everything else, so but that, that that's pretty good, <laughs> you know? Bandai is keeping it on the level. And my final thoughts, you know what? This is a perfectly fine Godzilla Minus One figure. The eye paint, the mouth paint, it could be a little bit better, but it's not terrible. Paint throughout is pretty decent, I have to say. I like the pose a lot. I like lunging forward pose. It's pretty good for 20-something bucks. I think it's like $26.99. You can't go wrong. I mean, honestly, you can. It's it's a pretty neat Godzilla minus one figure. Uh, and if you want one that's kind of like, you know, in a really cool, interesting pose for your, like, six-inch collection, six-and-a-half-inch collection, yeah. This is good. This is good. Uh, I got mine at BBTS by the way. So I'll uh, provide the best link for you to uh, get it. Uh, you know, and uh, I think you should. I think you should. Whether you go with this or one of the other variants, I think you'll be happy with it. Honestly, it's not bad at all. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content. And let me help you diversify your collection. Until next time, peace out.